Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Beginner level, how to create a basic migration tables in MySQL PHP My Admin database with creating a super user account, which is an admin account in Python with Django Web Framework. And here we got our default home page of our web server, which is our domain name. Now after the the server I'm adding admin click enter see here we got a prompt with Django administration our administration the username is a Charan let's type the word Charan and password I'm adding as well see here after I log in successfully here we've got the site administration the groups and users when I check the users and here we got our admin user details charan charan at gmail.com so let's add a new user here I'm adding a new user is a fan the password is and the password is I retype the password click save and see here the user ben and the password which is a hasher so you can add some more details of this user let's add the ben king and the last name is uh, k and the email id is ben at gmail.com come to the bottom if you want to do the user permissions also so i'm not giving any permissions just for the simply i'm saving this user ben so here we got the ben details is added successfully now let's check in our database and I click browse here we got the ban details are added successfully if you want to delete the ban select the ban Come to the bottom click delete and here we got a prompt with are you sure you want to delete the user then yes I'm sure and if you notice the band details has been deleted successfully from this table let's check in this database also when I reload the browser, see there is no bend details in this table. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I just logged into my PHP my admin database, which is my SQL. So when we want to migrate tables, first we require a database. So let's create a new database here in this database PHP my admin database. Create database. That database name is admin user. Is my database name. Let's create this database. Click go. And if you notice here, we got the admin user. The database is added. When I expand this, so right now this database is totally empty. So notice here the minus here. Now let's migrate some tables from Python using Django Web Framework into this database. Now before migrating the tables, first we require one new folder to add our new project. Local disk D drive, I'm selecting that one. First, let's create a new folder. Right click the mouse and new create folder. 
and the folder name is Django Python migrate is my folder name now I want to create a project in this folder so notice here right now this folder contains empty this folder is empty so let's create a new project in Django web framework I'm using Visual Studio code to write the Python code and notice in this Visual Studio code left side there is the Explorer panel which contains three options one is the open editions outline and then in the middle one is my project folder which is my previous one now our project name is Django Python migrate so let's open file and open folder and local disk D and D drive our folder name is Django Python migrate let's click that one select folder and notice here now we've got our new project folder is added Django Python migrate which is the second one and this open editors contains a welcome page which I don't require I'm deleting this one now the middle one is our project folder I'm expanding that one right now this folder contains empty so let's create a new project in this folder go to view and select terminal in the terminal notice the path the folder name our project folder name and the drive is a d drive now let's create a new project django admin start project and the project name is admin project you can give any name this one is a project name just for the demo purpose i have added admin project click enter And notice here the admin project is added successfully. When I expand this admin project, one manage.py, which is a Python file, and we've got one, one more folder name admin project. Let me expand that one also. And these are all files of the Python files added automatically when I'm creating this project admin project. Now the next step. Now when we want to dealing with a particular database we need to install uh, that particular database packages here I'm using my SQL so let's install pip uh, it's a pip install my SQL CLI ENT client so here we got a message the requirement already satisfied which means the mysql client package is installed successfully into our project so after installing this mysql client now we need to configure our database connection string so to configure the databases in the admin project which is a subfolder of this project the main path open settings.py Now in the settings.py, come to the bottom and notice here in the databases, the default database is a SQL Lab 3, but our database is a MySQL. So the engine is a MySQL. Instead of, instead of SQL Lite, I'm adding MySQL here. And the name, let's delete this one, which I don't require between single calls here the name which is our database name our database name is admin user copy this one and paste here and the next step the user the username is a root my sql php my admin username and the password 
I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database. If you have any password, please enter that one. And the next step is a host. Here the host is a local host. Comma and the port number. Our database port is switch to the database. 3306 is our port number. Let's add that one between single quotes 3306 comma and the last step between single quotes I'm adding options and the options between curly braces I'm adding between single quotes init underscore uh, command column between double quotes I'm setting the SQL mode SQL underscore mode is equals to between single quotes strict underscore trans underscore tables that's it we have configured our database connection in this database section in settings.py page. Let's save this file. File, open the file, save all. Now let's migrate the tables into our admin user, admin user database. So here the Python. So not here. In the terminal, type for Python. Sorry, first we need to add this folder name admin project. Change directory cd admin project. Now let's migrate Python manage.py migrate click enter see so here all the migration tables are installed added successfully into our database let's check so the admin user i am reloading this admin database see here See here we got all the tables here. Now if you notice the authentication user a u t h underscore user let's open that one. Right now this table contains zero users. There is no admin user here. So let's add our a new admin user which is a super user. So to create a super user again switch back to our Visual Studio code. In the terminal, type for python manage.py create super user. So this is a so this is a command to create a super user. Click enter. Notice here we got the prompt with username. So here the username I'm adding Charan. The email id is charan at gmail.com and the password is uh, I'm adding a simple password here oops password is a match so I have used a very simple password just for the demo purpose I have added so here we got a message to bypass this password. I click as Y. And here we got a message super user created successfully. Let's open. I'm reloading the browser. So here we got the Charan the user details. Now let's browse this project. Uh, to browse this project python manage.py 
run server click enter and here we got a message no issues form and this is our server name click control and mouse click and this is and here we got the default home page of this local host and this is a home and here we got our default home page of our uh, and here we got our default home page of our web server which is our domain name now after the server i'm adding admin click enter so here we got a prompt with Django administration. Our administration, the username is a Charan. Let's type the word Charan and password I'm adding as well. So here after I log in successfully, here we've got the site administration with the groups and users. And I check the users. And here we got our admin user details charan charan at gmail.com so let's add a new user here I'm adding a new user is a pen the password is and the password is I retype the password Click save and see here the user Ben and the password which is a hasher. So you can add some more details of this user. Let's add the Ben King and the last name is K and the email ID is Ben at gmail.com. Come to the bottom if you want to give the user permissions also so i'm not giving any permissions just for the simply i'm saving this user bank so here we got the ben details is added successfully now let's check in our database and i click browse Here we got the band details are added successfully. If you want to delete the band, select the band, come to the bottom, click delete. And here we got a prompt with are you sure you want to delete the user ban yes I'm sure and if you notice the ban details has been deleted successfully from this table let's check in this database also when I reload the browser see there is no ban details in this table that's it